I don't know if there's anything more healing than birdsong. I don't know if there's anything more healing than waking up early in the morning to go watch birds, to listen to them. A couple years ago, Gavin and I went on a trip to Belize where we first started really paying attention to birds. And since then, it's been such a fun thing to do together. I feel like getting to know the species, both plants and animals, really grounds you in a place. It makes you feel whole and connected. And I've really enjoyed kind of, in a way, collecting the birds as we go. And it's something that we can just do wherever we are, even in cities. <laughs> I think this is buffalo poop. There's, there's hoof prints on the ground. Big ones too, like big prints. I'm not even, look at this. Those. Somehow we've been in Darwin for over a month and a half, so we've been spending a good amount of time getting to know the local birds. And that's led us to find Fog Dam, which is quickly turning into one of our favorite places that we've been in the whole Northern Territory. back. We're back at Fog Dam. Um, we couldn't stay away. It's only been like four or five days and we're back out here. It's only like an hour from Darwin so it's so worth it. Um, we're trying to beat our record for 20 birds. There's a ranger talk I think hopefully <laughs> today. Um, at like 8.30 we got here at 7 so we're just gonna be looking for birds until then. Um, but it's a gorgeous morning, as always, <laughs> and I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, yeah. Pied herons, uh, intermediate egrets, magpie geese, chicanas, walking on the lily pads behind me, rainbow bee eaters, um, kites. We saw night herons, which was really cool. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just saw a tiny brown and white bird, but I can't. I did it. Um, what you're hearing right now is a magpie lick and the jacanas that are, they look so weird when they're flying. And I believe that's a whistling duck. Um, I love it here. This is like my favorite place that we've been in the north, I think. Um, I have been, f this is so random, but I've been feeling kind of stuck and like, like this is a little bit purposeless to be staying in Darwin for as long as we are just because we haven't found jobs and we likely won't find jobs at this point because we only have like six weeks left. Um, but it kind of has felt like we were like wasting our Australia trip because we're not like actively seeing more of Australia, um, which has felt really hard, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, I think the 
only thing we can really do is just try and like enjoy it for what it is and I am starting a pottery class next week so that should help me get through the remainder of the time here and um, yeah if we just keep doing like trips once a week even just like a day trip or even a half day trip like I think that will be really really good for me <laughs> and like we'll make this feel worth it. We just went to a ranger talk here and we saw a crocodile, which was super cool. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and we saw a spoonbill, the first one we've seen since I think we were in Sydney. Right, Gavin? Have we seen a spoonbill since Sydney? I don't think so. Crazy. But we saw one. So that's exciting. We also found out that um, the buffalo are feral and they're trying to manage the population and same with pigs, cats, foxes. Yeah. We beat our bird species record and found 30 species on this day. It was wild um that's 30 identified species and that is by far the most we've ever done in any single birding trip so far <laughs> which is really exciting Hi guys, thanks so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot and um, I hope that you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them.